So we got it home, pulled the plastics off, and since they said it was burning oil, the first thing I did was pull the spark plug, and it turned out to be focus. Come on. It turned out to be really fouled out. No way this thing was gonna spark. So here's that. Tires still get on it. One thing I noticed is it had a broken exhaust stud. So the first thing I did after that was pull the muffler off and found that the exhaust is barely even held on. The valve train looks okay. Quad's kind of hard to crank over. Hooked up a battery to it and it cranked really slow. So now I pulled the carb and I'm basically getting it ready for the engine to come out. So this is the new project that Junior brought home. He's already started taking it apart. He sent me some video. I'm going to try to get that thrown in. Hopefully before this, you'll have already seen it. But uh, this used to be his four-wheeler. And he got rid of it, what, beginning of this year? Uh, or was it end of last? It was like end of last year. Okay. For another four-wheeler, which I'll show you in a minute, that's okay. piled in his garage with all of his other projects. You guys will like some of the projects Junior's got sitting around here. They're pretty cool. So what year is this one? That's an 86. Magna that he bought for his dad. He's got an 11 Sportster 48. 1200. Yep. That is his 450. Out to 500. That's a 500 now? Yeah. Well, it's like, it's like 480, maybe, probably. Basically 500. Yeah. So he's got that. And then back there is a VT500 Honda Bobber, which is for sale. Right? Yeah. Or trade. Or trade. And then as you can see, Junior clearly has a tool addiction like I do, because this isn't even what's in his service truck out in the street. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... I see they ran into the same problem we did. Oh, the chain's got a bunch of slop in it again? Yeah. I, I feel like we've put a couple chains on this thing. I've put... No, it's brake pads. This thing kept throwing brake pads out. That's because I kept buying the cheap brake pads. When <laughs> I put Yamaha OEM ones in it, they've... Haven't I think we kicked like three sets of linings out of this thing in one At week. At least. <laughs> and then we finally went to the Yamaha dealer because that's the closest place. <laughs> we were covered in mud coming from an off-road park. He wouldn't let us inside. Yeah. He made me give him his, my credit card. And, and stand in went, the parking lot. Yeah, and then he went inside. <laughs> I was pissed. All right. So what did you find? The previous owner, which I'm the previous owner, but the guy before me said that he thinks it tagged a valve. And the only way, obviously, that can happen is if it throws a timing chain or skips it. And judging by the brand new tensioner on it and the fact that inside the head, I can see, if you come in, you can see where the chain actually hit the thing, the head there and there. So I'm guessing he probably threw these guides in and uh, called it a day. And didn't even tighten up the exhaust. I haven't touched that. He broke a stud off. I'm going to have to put a new stud in it. Well. That's easy, though. Yeah. Well, other than that, it's in great shape. The so, oil looks pretty much fine, but he hasn't ran it on this oil, so I'm not sure what I'm going to find. I need to take the filter out and check it. So what's the plan right now? We're going to pull the head and pull the jug off of it? Yeah, I need to pull this uh, crank co or the clutch cover. Yeah, clutch cover off. I did not bring my flywheel puller with it at the house if you need it. Oh, this isn't the clutch cover. This is, this actually is the... Stator. Yeah. And flywheel the and all stator, that. Stator, so the flywheel's under that. Yeah. Um, but I did not bring my flywheel puller. Look how big it. the fucking case... Look how big the case is on this thing. Nice job, Junior. Sorry. Uh, look how big the case is on this thing. It is ridiculously huge compared to my 450. It's yeah, but it's got reverse in it, too. Yeah, it does have all right, well, we're going to get some tools out, and we'll start taking the top end of this thing apart and see what kind of damage is done inside this motor. All right, so we got the timing chain tensioner out. Hold on, let me grab another. Flywheel's off. This one didn't need a puller. My last one did. This one is also a lot newer than my last Warrior. This one's only a 2000. My last one was an 89. That's fair. Let's see if I can just kind of... Special go. tool, guys. All right, now drop it off the crank. I was going to see if I could pull this. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, probably. But yeah, because then you can pull it up. I don't know if it's going to come. It won't come uh, all the way out. Yeah, no, it won't. you got to get it off the top first. My bad. 
Yeah, it happens. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. Man, just drop out of there, you s meanie. <laughs> Good job censoring yourself on that one, Junior. You're welcome. I figure I'd help you with the editing. I just had like a shim. Somebody should make that tool. Somebody probably makes that tool. Yeah, it probably is a tool. Motion Pro that I don't own. Would you just... The sad thing is, like, between my Harley and my four wheeler and stuff, I have like an entire list on Amazon of stuff I need to buy from Motion Pro. Right. How hard is it to get the guides out? They... Well, this doesn't have a valve cover. So... Probably really hard. Because they're... Long. Do they just bolt it on the bottom, though? We can slide them down? This one does. This one would have to slide out. But it won't. But I can take that one off. Okay. Ugh. So we got the cam gear out of here. got some wear so now we'll go ahead and get the head off of it oh hold on what let's see if the starters uh, wait no because valves not connected anymore. that's that's the starter right there no I oh I see what oh, you're wanting spin. to do yeah I just want to see if I spin okay I thought you were going to try to turn the motor over. I'm like, no, Junior, don't do that. <laughs> no, I'd say that starter's done for. Is it in neutral? Well, it has to be because it's clicking the solenoid. It was making the starter make sounds before, so... One. What? Press that button. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Starter's done for. Uh, probably. Fudge muffins. It'll be fine. This is a two bolt starter. Why did I have issues with it before? Um. Do you want me to answer that? Oh, stupid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a few years ago. All right. A while ago. That was a long time ago. Uh, yeah, that was a couple years ago when we put that starter on there. I think that was before we went to the first Redneck Rave with this thing. It is. There are videos on my Instagram of that Junior was... wheeling this thing for some distance at Redneck Rave. That was two women ago. <laughs> is that how you measure time now, Junior? Usually. Okay. All right, well, let's get some more tools. Let's get oh, these. Oh, it probably up. doesn't help that. Does it got a broken terminal? <laughs> it's just moving, so I'd say, yeah, probably. All right. Well. Either way, it starts to your place. Yeah. Do you want to pull the head or do you want to pull the exhaust? Yes. Oh, I was actually going to do something for a change, but okay. Oh. Uh, I'll do the head. You can pull the exhaust. Okay. It's just one bolt. That sounds good. <laughs> Are you tripping over your own tools now? There was a leaf. <laughs> and oil. And oil. That oil wouldn't have been there if somebody wouldn't have dropped a gear in the drain pan. I think that's oh, all the way out. still gear in the drain pan. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to go to put this... Here you go. You're going to put this together and be like, <laughs> Where the hell is my gear? You're going to blame me for it being missing. I'm going to blame myself because there's a thousand percent chance I have not disposed of that oil by then. It's going to be sitting in that drain pan underneath of it until this thing's running and driving. Or until it meets the state of the 450 and sits for a year. Yeah. I'll get it fixed. One of these days. To be fair, you broke the Honda, so you bought the Harley. You traded your running four-wheeler for a non-running four-wheeler. You built it and then pretty much stopped when it just needed rejetted. Yeah. And then you bought another project while those two are still sitting. Is, yeah. is the Magnum at least done? Uh, it needs coils, but it drives. Okay, so at least that runs. Yeah, my dad drives it sometimes. It just needs coils. 
Pretty much if it's not his Harley or his pickup. Junior really doesn't care about most of his stuff and they sit broken forever. Yeah. He also has a company take home truck, so he really never has to drive anything he owns. Accurate. I don't spend much money on gas. Tomorrow? Well. So I'm just gonna throw this all back in the garage. <laughs> uh, did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> so I mean I'm responsible and organized and everything's gonna go back where it's supposed to. And that's just a huge lie. I feel bad now. I'm gonna go to go to work Friday and be like, where are all my tools? Thursday. I'm gonna work Thursday. Oh, that sucks. Well, anyway, we got the uh, the jug and the head off. There are some pretty good scores in this thing. I don't know why you're even talking to them until I've got my. Hey, there's where that ratchet went. Where's the flex head? How long have you been missing that? A few months. You need to clean your garage. <laughs> but uh, we can't even pull the piston up right now. And this is a neutral, right? Probably. They came out here, so probably. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure the bottom end of this is locked up because we can't get that to move. Listen, as soon as Junior finds the socket to turn the crank over. It's not under the head. What are the odds it's in the oil? Uh, I wouldn't say slim to none. I'd probably say highly to very likely. You're trying to find your magnet? Yeah. There's a gear. That's the starter gear. All right, well, it's not in the oil. Nope. What? Okay. That works fine. Is it going to come out any further? Uh, hang on, you hit the carburetor. Oh. Oh. It's done, Junior. It's going <laughs> to need the uh, the bottom end pulled apart. I can see pieces of the rod bearing sticking out. Me fucking too, Tyler. <laughs> I mean, me freaking too. Well, we barred it over, and as you can see by the chunk of the rod bearing sticking out there, that unfortunately, the uh, fine, fine previous owner of this ran it so low on oil that he locked the bottom end of this up. It's, the, the rod is currently seized to the crankshaft. So as much as Junior did not want to pull the case out of this and split it, unfortunately, we're going to have to do that. I'll clean the top of my toolbox off, take the case out and bring it to my house and we'll split it at my house. All right, cool. But, you want to go ahead and get this motor out of there? It looks so heavy. <laughs> we might as well. We're already here. But it looks so heavy. I'll tell you, there's no chance I'm tearing it apart tonight, though. Uh, I, don't blame you. I feel like this is a several beer get... job on New Year's yeah. Eve. Agreed. Hey, we can do a live, we can do a live stream of a New Year's Eve engine teardown. So I'm not doing anything New Year's. I'll be over there. Okay. So, yeah. We're probably going to end up pulling the case on this now, get the motor and trans out of it, this whole section. And then uh, we'll get it to my house. and rage is being crippled by YouTube's demonetization policies. Yeah, there is a solid, probably five minutes straight of Junior cussing, walking in circles in the garage right now. We were really hoping the bottom end was going to be okay on this motor. But, you know, stuff happens. We still got it for a reasonable enough price that it's in the budget to fix it. And, uh... Junior likes this thing enough that it's coming back to life. So, I'm probably going to cut it off here, and uh, the next video on this will be when this motor's out, tearing it apart on the bench. It's okay, that jug was trash. You might need a pry bar to get that front of the motor up. Oh, hey, I should probably take off the shifter. Oh. Yeah, we forgot that. Oh my god, look at that. The longer you stare at it, the worse it is. Just take it out of there. You can stare at it when it's apart. Where am I supposed to put it? I don't know. This isn't my house. Where do you normally put your blown up engines? <laughs> well, that took us like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. And that's going to be the end of it until we get it over to my house and uh, tear the engine apart.